Hello fellow pirates, my name is Desnes and today I got One Piece live action news for you. First of all, in case you missed it, we got the trailer for Tudum, you know, Tudum, the sound of Netflix. It's an event in Brazil which will feature the whole Straw Hat crew and they will be on a live stream talking about the production of the One Piece live action on the 17th this month, so mark the date, and they will definitely show at least a teaser. So really look out for the live stream. Also, Jacob, our live action Usopp, leaked on his Instagram that the promotional phase for the One Piece live action has begun. So you will be seeing more interviews like this one with Tess Skyler, our live action Sanji. He was interviewed by Zero Nine and we're going through the whole interview today. So they asked him, as an actor, how do you prepare to play an animated character in live action? And he said, whenever you see references of the character, I don't have to worry about my interpretation being anything close or anything that is copying or resembling anything that anyone else has done. I get a clean slide late when I do it. But secondly, with it being animation, there's not a single thing you see that isn't deliberately done. You know, when you're seeing live action films, some things may be deliberate, some things may be accidental. When it's a drawing, absolutely everything is on purpose. So you can look how does he stand versus how does another character in the show stand. What does that mean? How does that look? Because maybe it looks literal, maybe it looks exactly how it is, or maybe that means something. And I can make that that. I can put that into reality. For me, it was about adding enough things together that it made something. They ask him, so you kind of had to build the mannerism of the character? Exactly. From the way they stand and everything else also influences that, like the suit for example. There's a very specific way that you stand when wearing a suit. I don't sit back in a suit. It makes you stand a certain way. Different shoes make you stand a certain way and even make you behave a certain way because you couldn't put your shoes on your knee as easily as you would with a pair of vans like all those things influence. Also what he does on a daily basis like posture is important in the kitchen. If you're slumped over a table all day you're going to have that. So you initially have to have a good posture for that. That seeps into your everyday. What else did you have to learn to play Sanji? The first things that jump to my mind about his character are his fighting style and his profession. Every other character has an external object they had to practice with. This doesn't diminish the process of learning learning how to be good at something. However, in my case, I couldn't learn to use the object until it became usable. Understanding the mechanics of kicking, for example, doesn't count unless you can reach the target. It was a challenging experience. The most difficult thing I've ever done. Cooking was fine because you can learn the necessary skills. Combining ingredients is different from using a knife efficiently. And the cooking stuff? That was attainable, but training with the character in the kitchen was a daily commitment. In South Africa, the training started with an hour a day, gradually increasing to two four, six and eventually eight hours a day divided into increments. It was a rigorous process that required dedication and perseverance. Was martial arts something you already knew which helped you find a role? And we even got a video for that thing. He said, no, really? I've never done, I've never done martial arts in my life. The axe kick is some point. Oh, bless. Yeah, okay. It's a good point. Yeah. I killed it. Okay. I killed it. Okay, you actually smiled when you said it. I'll buy it. i buy it. It wasn't. <laughs> what can you do to prepare for not only just a big role, but one with such a loyal and dedicated fan base as One Piece? He answered, Every time I get asked that question, I have a different thought. But they all end up at the same place, which is you don't listen to what everyone else is saying. I remember you once quoted Matthew McConaughey in an interview. Yes, yeah. Be blessed, impressed, and more involved. Yeah, just sort of go with it. That's all you can do, really and that's what fed into it. I've never gone psycho like I've gone psycho on this. This is the hardest I've ever worked for anything in my entire life. But part of it was because of the pressure which I don't like admitting because I don't think it's a useful sentiment. My way of dealing with the pressure was to go, well, at least if I do everything that I know is humanly possible in my standards and then you know if people don't like it, I can't go, oh well, maybe just people ignore them and go for it. Yeah, that was essentially all One Piece related in that interview. Click the link in the pinned comment or in the description to see the full interview and I hope you had fun with that little interview. There will be more interviews in the future because of their press tour and we are all looking forward to June 17th when the Netflix to doom event is and we will definitely see a teaser there. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and let's set sail.